All right, part two, repair A. The NHC, uh, or sorry, the CID rebuilding engine manual with the written order end of the way with also a view for the known matter of the familiarity of the community engine for the foul, the procedure of the necessary to rebuild the engine. For this reason, we have attempted to give with a few technical terms the possible that is divided with the procedure of the NT, the basic step. The NHC, NHNTA, NTNTA manual contains the instructions for the investigation, disassembly, and the disassembly with the components of most of the assemblies. The inspection engine part of the repair, the replacement of the parts, assembly components, assembly, assembly, testing of the engine, warn limit, the torque value, some of the information that is specific to particular engines, including you should determine when the engine model is before, during, and any of the work on that engine. The data play with the engine will identify the engine model with the bottom of the number to provide the information on the design and aspiration column. You can from engine the displacement application, the equipment with which the engine was designed, maximum rated horsepower, the NTA 855C3600. Uh, 360 uh, NH engine a series of turbo charge. The, there's no T, but the engine is not as from natu naturally aspirated air. A is after cool 855 cubic inch displacement. C construction application 360 maximum rated horsepower. A application designation C for construction. G for generator. GS for for GC and GS stand GS for standby. GC for the continuous duty. P power unit M marine L locomotive R rail car. How do you use this manual? The manual provides the two, um, two groups. These groups are enlisted in the table of contents. Just some of the engine covered the group of the O with the assembly, uh, zero for the group of the inspection. Some of the components covered the appropriate group of the example. The group O zero contained for the instruction for the removal of the lubricating oil pump of the engine. Group seven lubricating system contains the instruction for the assembly, the inspection, assembly of the lubricating oil pump itself. Some components are not included with the engine manual. There are for one fuel pump, the air compressor, two the air compressor, three the injector, four the turbocharger. All beginning with each for the group of the, uh, the exploded view with the component of the covered in the group of the exploded with the view to show relation between all the parts. Of the components at the beginning of the, each of the group, the list of the tools to require for the commander to the, to the procedure described in this group. The many of the tools were designed, human engine company to perform the specific procedure available for the use of the community, human distributor, other tools that are standard tools which are generally available. At the end of each of the group, the table should include the worn limit, the dimension for the parts contained within the group. The worn limits indicate the part that can be used with the dimension of the within. The dimension given in the not damage of the torque value if they're included within the table of the group. The 18 includes the specification contained in all the groups of the following additional specifications. One oil recommendations, two field recommendations, three cool re recommendations. There is an alphabetical index at the end of the manual with allowed the find of the page number of the specific information without having to read the entire through the entire group of the index and tends to match with the heading for the uh, using the text. For example, if you're looking for the assembly of the lubrication oil, oil pump, lubric lubricating oil pump is in this index and it would be appears to follow. Lubricating oil pump, assembly, disassembly, inspection, repair, and replacement, 74 through 722. Um, note these pages manually are normative of the sequence for the group of the first page of the group of the zero, the zero, 01, first page of the group of 11, one, and the last page of the manual listed are the human engines for the publication related subjects. Manual page can be removed at the beginning of the manual pack of the bank, beginning and end of each of the group of the page can be easily pulled out and put in three ring binder. This manual includes service provided for the topic of information concerning the NH, NHT, and NTA, 855, 10 February 1979 to September 1981. Supersuit bills to number 3379076040. At this point, with the Cumin Engines Company, you have to improve the product for the diesel engine change to occur after the publication of the manual. Clean after the procedure to describe this manual. If you have any questions about the engine, check your local Cumin distributor and dealer. You need to make this sure that the manual provides information you need to way. Always make this best for you for the possible information you need to hear from any of the about the problems encountered, please send the, your comments to the NTH Technical Writer 80203, Surface Operation Community Engine Company, Incorporated, Box 3005, Columbus, Indiana, 475, 47201. All right, Group Zero, Engine Disassembly, General Information Disassembly of the Engine, Group One, the Cylinder Box, Cylinder Box, Sam Shaft, Bushing, Cylinder Liner, Counter Bore, Cylinder Liner Bore with the Water Passes, Elevator with the Cylinder Head with the Cap Screw, with the Refinishing of the Top Surface, the Cylinder Block, Main Bearing, Cap Main Bearing Bore, Cylinder Liners, Crankshaft Bearing with the Crankshaft Thrust Bearing, the Vibration Damp with the Mounting Flange with the Vibration Damp with the Connection Rod, the Piston Rings, uh, the Pistons, the Assembly with the Piston Rod with the Connection Rod, the Rear Cover with the Camshaft, the Camshaft Support with the Gear Cover, Cylinder Head, Cylinder Head with the Valve Guide with the Valve Valve. Ring the crosshead guy with the crosshead water hole with the injector sleeve with the assembly testing rocket level the rocket level the housing rocket level the crank craze breather and rocker housing cover. 
Group four cam followers, cam followers, mechanical vi vi variable time push rods. Um, group five fuel pump, fuel system PT fuel pump. The group six for injector the connectors, connections. G group seven lubricating oil system, lubricating oil pump, demand and flow of the cooling DFC with the blue oil, lubricating oil filters, lubricating oil lines, lubricating oil pan, lubricating oil dipstick, lubricating oil cooler, NTE European oil cooler. Group eight, a group eight and cooling system. The eccentric water pump, the water pump for the NTA engine, the FSC water pump, the fan, the fan hub, the uh, the thermostat housing, the raw water of the sea water pump, the group 9 drive unit, general information accessory drive, hydraulic governor drive, the drive pullers, group 10 air intake system, intake of the manifold connection, air after cooler, group 11 exhaust system, manifolds, group 12 air equipment, air compressor, the vacuum pump, the air crank motor, the group 13 equipment, electrical equipment, wire diagrams, electrical components. Group 14, engine testing of the engine's assembly with the test of the engine, paint pain, pain, pain the engine and preparing the engine for the top of the service. So group 16, mounting add adaption, flywheel and flywheel ring. Group 18, wearing the specification and torque with the cylinder block specification, cylinder head specification, rocker level specifications, cam follower specification, lubricating oil pump specification, oil pump pans, um, capacity, cooling system specification, drive unit specifications, assembly specification, cap screw, marketing, markings, torque values, lubricating oil, grease from fuel, oil cooling, and group, and, uh, group 20, vehicle braking, compression, um, brake maintenance for the engine brake and the exhaust brake. Table to the um, oil pump specifications, the sump oil, the draft sh shaft from protrusion, a um, minimum, maximum idler shaft, protrusion, drive shaft, and movement, the draft shaft, protrusion, inner idler shaft, protrusion, drive shaft, and movement, the drive oil pump, drive shaft, protrusion, idle shaft, protrusion, idle shaft, protrusion, drive shaft, and movement, um, minimum, um, that was um, your single scavenger, double scavenger, from pump, the drive shaft, protrusion, drive shaft, protrusion. From adapter, add a little sh shaft protrusion, solid protrusion from adapter, drive shaft, and movement, the single and double. Um, let me see where we're at. All right, two, apply with the coat of lubricating oil outside of the diameter of the driving gear and the 12th of the gear of the driving shaft with the U of the ST, 1157 with the orbit of the press push for the gear of the of the shaft. See table two, find the correct amount of the protrusion. The shaft must have the after the gear and the and the the drive shaft with the gear pocket side of the pump side of the bore with the pump body with the coat of the lubricating oil and inside of the diameter of the drive gear. Put the gear and shaft on the uh, gear on the shaft with the side of the body opposite with the gear's pocket, um, pockets of the uh, arbor press for the rest of the push of the gear on the shaft. There must be more than 12 thousandths of an inch for the clearance between the gear and the body. Apply with the lubricating oil and inside of the diameter and idle gear and sold the outer gear with the idle or shaft. No, for the double, uh, double lubricating oil pump, install the new gas scavenger pump body with the oil pump of the body and body with the air and lubricating oil with the inside of the diamond of the driving gear with the scavenger pump, scavenger pump, the hour press for the push gear with the drive shaft. There must be the two thousandths and four thousandths of an inch clearance, but bottom of the gear pro, um, pocket of the gear, uh, gear with the repeat the step of the four and install the idle or gear. Or gear. The oil pump required the little tube of the piston cooling with the oil of the tube was removed and installed the new tube within the tube of the body with the push the end of the tube, which is not bevels of the body with the pump body. The make sure the tube of the tube is 2.970 or 3, 3, uh, 3 inches of the, um, protrusion from the body. If the dowels were removed, the body and solve the new bodies. New dowels apply the clean lubricating oil to the gears bushing in the shaft and install the pressure regulator oil, pr oil pressure by bias valve. The bottom pump body tighten the cap screw to 30, 35 foot pounds. And install the cover in the new gasket of the pump, then high air the cover lightly with the rubber, the hammer, and push for the cover on the dowels. And install the cap screw, lock washer so that the cover is held. Through the body, tighten the cap screw to 30 to 35 foot pounds. The torque, turn the, gear, turn the gears to make sure they are proper, move properly and free, and free of the, in the pump. If the pipe plugs were removed, apply the sealing compound Teflon tape with the threads. And install the tighten plug for the following torque valves. One half inch pipe plug for 30 to 40 foot pounds. Three eighths of inch pipe plug for 20 to 30 foot pounds. Three quarters inch pipe plug for 45 to 5 foot pounds. All right, seven three. The demand of flowing cooling oil fuel flow section engine cold filter bypass filter oil bypass secondary through um, flow through color bypass flow, primary flow through color base pump discharge main rifle signal hoe the dampening off the main rif um, rifle pressure regulator high limited value gear pump the pump inlet return pan no um, engine hot no flow through the bypass. All right, one is the body, and two, two is the gasket, three is the spacer, the four, four, driver gear, five, bushing, six, high pressure limited valve, seven, drive shaft key, eight, dowel pin, nine, idler shafts, ten, drive shaft, and eleven, gear, bushing, twelve, idle gear, thirteen, driving gear, fourteen, bushing, fifteen, gasket, sixteen, oil pump, drive cover, 
17 cover plate, 18 cover plate, uh, co 17 cover plate gasket, 18 cover plate, 19 main rifle regulator. The man flow cooling with an indicator with the system with adjustment of the oil flu with a little oil lubricating is needed. Um, as needed, as engine start instead of the operating continue for the maximum capacity to remain flow flow cooling system as the lower pressure in the main oil passage or main oil rifle 35 to 45 psi less oil flow from the, from the pump at the 40 gallon per minute and um, control the amount of the oil that is cooled before the end of the oil passages. The flow circuit is control, um, flow is controlled for the uh, two independent circuit, the one circuit for the flow of the capacity of the oil pump that has an internal pressure for the control mechanism and external feedback single hole for the second circuit that contains temperature control bypass for the oil cooler fill assembly instruction for the disassembly inspection assembly with the oil cooler assembly found later in the section. Disassembly of the inspection oil pump follow the same general inspection given the disassembly of the oil pumps. Check the drive shaft, the idler shaft, the damage wear of the figure five and seven, 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 five and seven, six. Replace the shaft with the outside diameter does not meet the eight, 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 ten, eight hundred seventy four ten thousand inch or eight hundred eight hundred seventy five eight seven five eight hundred seventy five ten thousand of an inch uh, in di damage. Inspect the bushing pump body with the covered ideal gear. Replace the bushing if the damage is inside of the diameter. Figure 7, 5 shows the measuring outside diameter of the drive shaft. Figure 7, 6 shows the measuring outside of the idler shaft. Figure 7, 7 measure the inside of the diameter of the bushing. Figure 7, 8 check with the movement of the plunger of the bore. Does not remove the uh, measure of the 8,000, 8, uh, 8, 0.8765 or 8, 0.8775 inches. To inspect the gear with the working teeth to replace the gears worn down. To provide, to buy, to check the body damage, cover the cracks over the damage, make sure the surface of the gasket over the flat surface to replace the parts with the damage. Move the pressure retaining, uh, regulating retaining spring, um, spring with the plunger, make sure the plunger can move freely in the bore. Check the disc for high pressure limit of the damage of the bush of the disc. Check for the spring with the damage. Do not use the tool of the sharp one with the bush of the disc and remove the retainer. Plug the disc and wash it to replace the spring and it is weak or damaged or broken. Follow the instruction given there earlier with the step 11 A and B and C and then solve the bore of the new bushing and then to install it in the body pump body with the cover C table 3 to find the correct dimension of the bushing shaft. Are your bushing warming limit is 0 0.8, as 8, 7 .8, 8, 0 0.8785 or minimum warm limit. New minimum 0 0.8.7865, maximum, new maximum 8.875. Inside damage 2231, 2226, 2229. Idler and drive, Idler and drive 0 0.8740, 0 0.8745, 0 0.87850. Shaft outside 2220, 2221, 2222. Assembly at oil pump. Except the unit of the direct flow and demand flow on um, direct flow. And, and control the oil pump requires the same procedure tool and torque value for the assembly oil. The other oil pump stable the table for the correct amount of the protrusion. Other and drive shaft that have the after assembly special instruction of after the DFC oil pumps as follows. Install the high pressure limited valve within the pump of the body with the use of the part number 3376011 pressure valve to make sure to install the pressure valve with the use of the cap screw lock washer to install the lock and the locating plate with the pump body. Do not tighten the cap screws at this time. 7 and 9 show the position of the locking plate. Um, show the 7 and 10 show the position of assembly into the locking plate. 7 and 11 show the install of the assembly. And so, uh, just looking ahead, I guess I'll keep reading then. All right, install the large diameter end of the mandrel within locating the plate and plate with the pull, pull the plate with the current correct position for the body. Tighten the cap screw, then remove the mandrel. Um, make sure the program for the disc are down with the limit. The seat with the up, then install the bypass spring with the washer disc with the locating the plate. Figure of seven ten. Install a small diameter end of the mandrel with the locating plate with the push of the mandrel with the arbor prep with the lower end with the mandrel again for the locking plate. Figure seven eleven. Table for the DFC shaft provisions in inches and idler shaft is 0 0.705 thousandths of an inch to max minimum 735 thousandths of an inch maximum uh, draft shaft from the pump of the body 1.9 1 1.1 and thousandths of an inch 2 and 10 thousandths of an inch pump driver gear 5 thousand of an inch or 700 of an inch maximum 
After removing the mandrel, locating the plate with the pump out of the NTE, lubricating oil pump, the European Big Cam engine. Same procedure to assemble the inspector, assemble the NTE oil pump that are used for the other NHC and NT oil pump. The difference between the NTE oil pump and the other pumps at this time and the location of oil pressure regulator amount of the protrusion without idler and drive shaft. The pressure regulator check valve valve that is located with the front of the valve. Part of the pump body is operative with the oil pressure for the pump of the oil pressure for through the main oil pass of the oil rifle. The engine's feet figure 12, 712. The A show for the position of the regulator when the engine is first started with the oil temperature less than the normal operation temperature. Figure 712. The A show for the position regulator with the oil temperature at the normal operating temperature of the regulator. Keep the oil pressure in the engine at a minimum of 10 psi when the engine is. At idle RPM, the 400 for 45 psi rate, at rated of the RPM C table 5 to correct the size of the bushing and the mount in the shaft protrusion. C712 NTE oil pump rest pressure regulator. The return oil pump lump um, loop pump pressure of the ball check oil valve. The table five NTE oil pressure specification the inches bushing eight hundred zero point eight seven eight five zero um, the warn limit the new minimum zero point eight seven six five maximum new maximum zero point eight seven seven five. Idler um, inside diameter 22-31-22-26, new minimum, tw new maximum 22-28. In idler drive 0.8740, new minimum 0.8745, new maximum 0.8750. Shaft inside outside diameter 22-17, new minimum 22-21, new maximum 22-22. Idler shaft 0 nine hundred nine nine hundred fifty five thousand of an inch, or new minimum 985,000 of an inch. New maximum protrusion 24, 25, 25, 0, 2. Um, maximum drive shaft 22 and 3, 105 thousand of an inch. New minimum 2 and 3, 112, 2 and 3, 125 thousand of an inch. New maximum protrusion 58, 44, 55, 59, 05. Lubricating oil filters, fuel, fuel, fuel flow, oil filter center bolt disassembly. Remove the drain plug with the filter shell of the drain with the oil pan. Cleaning the dirt with around the filter head with the shell. Before the removal of the shell, remove the center bolt from the shell. Remove the key element with the seal ring with the filter head with the key the element. Inspection discard with the seal ring. Remove the retaining ring with the center bolt. Remove the filter support with the rub seal with the washer filter spring with the filter shell. Remove the center bolt with copper washer. Check the bypass valve with the filter head to make the sure, ensure the valve works freely. If the valve does not work freely, move the replace the valve. Of cleaning, clean the filter shaft with the part of the cleaning solvent and dry the crevasse area and you for the knife to cut the element, remove the element with the center spool, inspect element from metal particles and dirt, and if the metal coals and particles are found, the element may be being inspected with all the bearings and the engine, discard the element after inspection. We inspect all the parts where of the damage distortion discovered the parts of the damage worn and distorted replacement replace the element of the new element and replace the part of the discard with the new gap parts and the assembly if the bypass valve is removed install the new valve into the filter head and install the new copper washer onto the center bolt install the center bolt within the filter shelf the side of the light the spring washer new rubber shield and the filter support with the center bolt install the retaining paint ring and the center bolt install the new element of the filter shell install the new sealing ring with the filter head install the filter assembly with the filter head install the drain plug with the filter shell you the part of the catalog to find the correct part number to fuel full flow oil filters is assembly use the part number three three seven five zero four nine oil filter wrench remove the oil filter remove the caps ring lock washer fasten the spring adapter on the filter head remove the spring adapter to discover the o-ring cleaning clean the spring oh it's been oh it's been on held adapter with the clean solvent and dry the with compressed air inspection use the part number three three seven five three zero one two got to remove the element from the filter recover truth inspect the element metal particle with the dirt with the metal particle to find the element be sure they inspect the all bearing for the engine discard the element of the after inspection Inspect the spin on adapter damage and apply assemble. Apply with the coat of lubricate with the new adapter o ring with the assemble the install of the spin of the adapter the o ring with the filter head with the, and the tighten the cap screw with the adapter 25 to 35 foot pounds. Torque. Apply with the coat lubricating oil with the new seal ring with the, the thread of the new filter cartridge with the install the sealing ring with the filter spin on the adapter to tighten the filter file with the instruction filter cartridge with the bypass oil filter. Full, full flow oil filters must also be used in the bypass fil filters. Never use the bypass filter instead of the full flow oil filter. Just assemble it. Anything to remove the cap screw with the cotton clamp ring, remove the cover and o ring, remove the element, hold down assembly with the element of the filter shell cleaning. Use the cauldron seal. Uh, cleaning salt with the clean, uh, clean and hold down the assembly and filter shell with the dry single and press air. Two the T handle the hold down the assembly with the standby pump of the filter shell. Have the uh, an orifice of the over orifice control oil filter through the filter. Make the orifice as clean, clean check, clean inspection, clean the hold down assembly filter shell and cover the damage and assembly of the new element of the filter shell. Install the hold down assembly on the standby pump tighten the assembly. Install the cover and O ring of the filter shell. Install the clamp ring with the cover of the filter shell with the tighten the cap screws until the lugs on the cap. 
and we're clamping it together, lubricating oil lines, the hose and the slides, the subsection of oil supply and drain lines through less than 10 foot in length and flexible hose number the six um, or five sixteenths of an inch. The front four oil supply, the drain lines more than 10 foot um, in length and use of the hose number eight with 13 32 of an inch. Fittings um, and use of the oil bypass circuit of the balance not be less than a quarter of an inch by the pipe side of the oil return line with the oil pump. Oil pan must be low the oil level of the oil pan. The oil supply must be connected to the oil pan and circuit between the oil pump and the full, full flow filter and make sure the hose for the oil fuel flow lines meet with the specification of the inside of the liner may be rubber and the teflon and the fuel fabric may wire support. The outside of the hose and the fabric of the wire support the hose cannot be damaged for the oil fuel. The hose of the inside liner must have the ability to let oil flow at neg um, negative degrees 400 and 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not use the hose at the Society Automotive Engineer Specification 100R1 or 100R5. The air, ho air hose Teflon liner must be available to ability to let the oil flow with the above to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The hose must have stainless steel wire support with the liner and permanent, uh, permanent fittings are to be used. Make sure the clamps are used the hose for the position and not damage the hose. If you assemble the new hose, replace the hose fittings at either 100,000 100, to 200,000 miles. Or, or at 3,200, 640, uh, 3,200, 640, 100 hours uh, engine operation. Follow the instructions to meet, meet make the hose and the bulk material. Use the hacksaw to cut the hose with the correct length with the make sure the cut square straight with the A5 degrees. Do not compress the hose within cutting with the can cut the restriction inside the hose. Um, pocket the sides and the vice call and check all the fittings to make sure they are fit correctly. Hold the hose entirely straight on the socket. This prevents the bad connection in the socket with the turn of the hose counterclockwise while pushing the hose into the socket. Um, turn the hose for the, until it comes to contact with the bottom of the socket. Make sure that the hose, make, um, installing the hose on the socket, figure 714. Uh, check, um, Make sure the hose has reached the bottom of the knot, pushing on the inside of the socket. Push the socket the hose assembly visa. Make sure the socket is clamped with the visa for the plow of lubrication nipple the inside of the hose. Figure 715. Use the part number SD1160 for the lubricant loop hose, uh, hose assembly tool for the inside of the nipple the hose and docket with the assembly. Figure 716. SD1160 includes the hose menandrel for the hose size 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 16. As the assembly check inside of the fitting of the hose to make sure the hose is not damaged any of the damage of the hose line can. Figure 715 lubricating of the um, nipple and figure uh, and figure 716 assembling the hose nipple in the socket. All right, to select the correct oil pan, you must know the type of the equipment and engine for the UVU, the engine for the UVU, the automotive video, the oil pan must be designed, the engine operated with up to 10 degrees of tail with the angularity, the UVU, the construction equipment, the oil pan must be designed to operate Ration off the 30 degree table with the angularity of the table 3775 of the back section to find the specification of oil pan inspection. Check the oil pan cracks for the dye method of the filing cracks. Apply the dye for the any area of the inspection. Let the dye dry for 15 minutes. Do not compress the air. Apply the developer to dye to check for the indication of oil of the crack. Check the aluminum oil pan the damage for the thread insert for the insert repair. Place the damage thread insert to make the diameter of the hole in the U for the correct tool for the part number 3375021. Thread insert, insert with cable to remove the damaged thread insert with the clean inspection hole with the use of the same tool to install the new insert. You have a different tap with the insert with the finish of the thread for the new oversized hole with the thread insert for the use of the diesel fuel with the lubricating when cut in thread aluminum. After the new insert with the dissolved at the end of the bottom of the insert toward the center of the tower with the side of the hole, this will cover the tip of the insert to break and remove the tip. Weld any small cracks in the oil pan. Do not weld the machine surface. Make sure that they clean all the oil from the oil pan with the welding. Break the damage thread for the little drain plug with the install of the oversized drain plug in the oil pan. You have the part number 62117 the drain plug within for, with 1 and 1 quarter inch 3 12 th inch by 12 threads the size. Increase the diameter hole with one one and one 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 six four of an inch. Um, use one one quarter inch to twelve tap and by twelve tap to cut the threads in the hole. Use the diesel fuel for the lubricating and the cut the threads. Install the new drain plug with the copper washer. Tighten the drug plug with a sixty seven foot pounds of torque. You have the part number one two zero three four nine drain plug with one three eight and three one eight inch for the twelve threads. Then create the diameter for the hole one sixteen one sixty fourth of an inch. You have the one three eight between one three one eight inch from the twelfth half of the cut with the thread the cut. Then the hole you have the diesel fuel for the lubricating of the cut of the threads. Install the new drain plug with the copper washer. Tighten the plug with sixty seven foot pounds of torque. Lubricating the oil, dip, dip skip mark for those shelf level on the oil for the oil pan level. The oil is too high with the cut of the foaming. The oil low with loss of the power. The oil level is too low with the cut of the oil, oil pressure damage the engine. If the dipstick is missing, install the new dipstick within part number of the, of the dipstick is not known. You have the dipstick if it does not have the make of the marks on it. Lubricant, um, 
if it does, and it's not known, use the dipstick if it does not, not does not have marks on it. Make sure make the correct marks on the dipstick. The engine must be mounted with the chassis in the correct operating position. Find the oil part number to reference the figure seven five then over the capacity for the oil pan. Drain the oil from the oil pan. Part put enough oil for the oil pan to equal the low capacity shown in the table seven five. Make sure make sure the oil has enough time to drain from the engine into the pan. Install the dipstick with the dipstick tube until the dipstick makes contact with the bottom of the pan. Measure the amount of the protrusion from the tube at the bottom of the dipstick cap and move the dipstick and cut the same amount of the end of the dipstick that was measured for the tube of the cap. Six and saw the dipstick all the way into the tube. Remove the dipstick. Make with the mark with the oil level to show the dipstick must make the ten ten um, ten hundredths of an inch deep. Uh, marked with the level uh, elbow above the first mark. Do not use the chisel to make the mark of the cut the dipstick so that it has at least one hundred twelve inch of length below the mark. And, uh, and uh, add enough oil to the oil panel equal to the high capacity shown in table 7.5 and install the dipstick in the tube room with the dipstick make with the mark with where the oil level show the dipstick and mark the level letter H on the marker above this mark. Lubricating oil filter. Um, the full flow cooling engine has the oil the pressure regulator front con support with the oil cooler. The uh, regulator control for the oil pressure before the oil flows through the oil filter. Same procedure to remove the installed regulator in the oil cooler that you used to remove the installed regulator of the, in the oil pump. Figure 517, the fuel um, full flow cooling oil pressure regulator. The oil cut cooler of the demand flow cooling system has been bypassed for the control oil flow, flow through the cooler. Um, the temperature of the, the oil come up causes the high path of the open cup with the oil temperature less than 230 degrees Fahrenheit. The valve is closed position will allow the approximate half of the oil through the cooler. When the oil temperature is more than 230 degrees Fahrenheit, with the valve is open position, allow the full flow of the oil through the cooler. 718, show the demand, demand fuel flow. Cooler um, before secondary through before filter secondary flow through the cooler bypass fl flow primary flow through the cooler bypass filter out and in five filter bypass valve the engine cold engine hot non flow through the bypass the oil cooler of the NTE um, or European big cam engine for the thermostat with the control for the oil flow through the cooler with figure seven nine with the engine of the oil cold. Uh, oil is cold, the oil is temperature left in 215 degrees Fahrenheit. The thermostat with the closed position with the oil flow of the bypass with the oil cooler. As the engine oil becomes hotter more than 215 degrees Fahrenheit, the thermostat begins to open all the small amount of the flow through the cooler. The oil temperature reaches the 235 degrees Fahrenheit. The thermostat is fully open, allowing the full flow of the oil through the cooler. To summary, the um, full flow cooling and the big cam remove the cooler support and cover the th and cover three and from the housing one retain the remove the discard the gasket two and ten from the retainer figure two seven seven twenty figure seven nineteen the nt oil flow through the oil cooler um engine cold the gun shove the thermostat closed for the lube, lube oil filter oil only engine hot thermostat housing um and oil cooling and the cooler and the fil cooler and the filter the thermostat opening lube oil fil oil and filter Figure 720, the fuel full, full, full um, flow, flow, fuel, um, fuel, flow, full, cooling, and big cam oil cooler. One, the gasket, uh, one, sorry, one, the cooler housing, two, the gasket, three, the cover, four, the retaining ring, five, the O ring, six, the uh, element, seven, the uh, gasket, eight, eight is your support, nine is your um, pressure regulator, ten is your gasket. Remove, discard the O-ring. Be careful not to damage the element. Six when removing the O-ring. Remove the oil and dirt from the housing. Flush the oil patch with mineral spirit in the reverse direction of the oil flow. Remove the element from the housing. Hit the edge of the housing with the engine against the block of the wood to remove the element from the housing. Remove the discard O-ring. Five. All right, cleaning, cleaning the element. Put the element in container with the carbon tetrachloride with the tetrachloride ethanol with the element in solution several minutes. The, the solution around the, the through the tubes and the element warning. And the fumes of the solution are dangerous to use the solution to open air within the room to have the proper ventilation. Wear safety goggles, the glasses and goggles, gloves. Um, two flush of the, of the tube with the solution alkaline after the cleaning flush several times. The hot water put the element into the container. Solution with solution is to be one part muriatic, nine parts water, one pound valsilic acid, or one tenth of a gallon pyr 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 pyridine added to each five gallon of muriatic acid. Um, remove the element where there. There is no foam in the bubble the solution. The foam in the bubble normally stops in 30 to 60 seconds. Put the element into the container, at least any of that has 5% solution of sodium carbonate. Remove the element when there is no bubble coming from the solution. Flush the element with clean and warm water. Clean the housing. Use steam and cleaning solvent to clean the housing. 
One, clean the house room with cracks of damaged corrosion. Check it. Two, support the cover with cracks of damaged corrosion. Three, check the cooler element of the damaged leak for the part number 3375253. Two, bundle test for the track leaks and follow these instructions. Install the end plates to each of the end of the element. And pull, put the sliding back in the plate and the fixture so that the fixture of the, over the element and the end plate C figure 21. 21 show the adjusting length of the fixture. Um, put the element in the fixture. Put the fixture so that the connection filter goes through the notch of the fixture plate and install the locking of the kips and bars and fixture fit and 22. Connect the air supply and with a thick disconnect with a quick disconnect filter fitting of the air connection fitting. Use the air pressure regulator three way with a discharge valve to control the air pressure and apply 60 pounds of PSI with the air pressure for the element. Put the element and the tool assembly into the container of the water. Make sure the water. Let's completely cover the element and check the element for the air leaks. Figure 722 show the element installed with the bundle tester. And then H, remove the element and tool assembly for the container with the user. Yeah, I use the air discharge for the leaf, the air pressure for the element. J, remove the tube bundle tester from the element. Four, replace all the, all the parts of the design that are damaged. Repair less than 5% of the tube of the element. The restrictions of damage of the element can be repaired with more than 5% of the tube. The restrictions are a damage to replace the element. Never use the cooler element from the engine hand of the head, head the, the, from an engine that had a failure. When the engine has a failure of metal particle, then the air will cooler. These particles cannot be completely removed from the element and can be caught um, and can cause damage from the engine. Repair the damaged tube, then install the new tube with the damaged tube of the outside the diameter of the new tube with the most be smaller than the inside diameter of the tube that you are repairing. Cut the end of the tube and it will be the same length with the other tube to make sure the end of the tubes are flared. So, so, side of the end of the tube, the element do not call the damage over the tube is an element with where the solder in the new tube new tube is. check the element for the leaks some of the fuel flow, full flow cooling and big cam and the press the element into the housing push the housing element into the flat workbench for the rear of the housing up align the index mark on the element index mark housing figure 723 723 aligning the index marks on the element in the housing alignment mark all right same part number two zero eight one four nine elements for the two index mark. They can have zero uh, have an O on the end, tube of the plate with the notch cut with the outside inside the diameter of the end of the rim of the use of the notch line within the end in the housing. Apply the cleaning coat of the cleaning lubricating oil. The new ring um, put the O ring between the element and the housing. Make sure the O ring does not protrude over the element of the housing. Seven twenty four index mark on the element. All right. Um, Seven twenty five using a mandrel to install the O ring. Note the O-ring must be installed less than one hour after the oil is applied. Um, less than one hour after the oil is applied. Push the O-ring into the housing. Use the part number ST1218 or ST1223 cooler O-ring mandrel to push the O-ring into the housing. Hit the mandrel with a plastic hammer or, or until the mandrel is against the element of the housing. Figure 725. Use the ST128. The oil cooler has the 5.5 inch diameter element. Use the ST1223. Oil cooler has the 4 inch diameter element. Install the retaining ring. Make sure the part of the number of the ring is, ring is up. Install the cover on the gasket of the housing. Um, tighten the cap screw 30 to 35 foot pounds to work. Slide the housing edge of the workbench so you can hold the element position with your hand. Make sure the element does not move into the housing. Put the housing of the cover down on the range, or on the workbench. Repeat steps three, four, and five. Install the O-ring, retaining ring. Install the new, install the support new gasket. The housing and tighten the cap screw thirty to thirty-five foot per torque. Install a pipe plug for the remove. Tighten the one-quarter inch pipe plug with the fifteen foot twenty-five foot pounds. Tighten the one-eighth inch pipe plug with the five foot seven foot pounds. NT European cool, engine cooler. Just assembly. Remove the cover plate for the housing. Discard the gasket. Seven twenty-six. The seven twenty-six. Remove the cover plate. So, um, two. Remove the thermostat with the thermostat housing. Discard the O-ring. Figure seven twenty-seven. Uh, remove the opposite end of the cooler housing. Remove the plate with the holes of the element in figure 728. Or 727 to remove the th thermostat with the O ring. And um, 728, remove the retaining ring or retaining plate ring. 721, remove the O ring with the thermostat end of the uh, end of the housing. 4 to remove the O ring with the thermostat housing. To push the element approximately 5 tenths of an inch out toward the filter end of the housing. Remove the discarded O ring. Figure 729. Remove the element of the housing toward the thermostat end of the housing. Remove the element. Figure 730. Remove the discarded O ring from the filter end of the housing. Figure 731. And remove the pipe plug for the housing. Check the filter bypass valve to make sure the valve works freely. Figure 732. Figure 730, remove the element from the housing. Figure 731, remove the O-ring from the filter end of the housing. 1, plug 2, gasket. 3, valve C, 4, valve 5, valve spring 6, washer 6, washer 5, valve spring 4, valve 7, valve, uh, valve C, 2, um, plug 1, plug 2, the gasket. 
Clean the element, clean and clean the element housing immediately. Disassemble the prevent hardening with the drying of the foreign material in the element housing. Use mineral spins equivalent to clean the housing. Flush the old passage of the reverse direction of the old flow. Flush the element with the hot water. Make sure the water grows around through the tube of the element. Dry the compressed air. Never use the cooler element from the engine if it has had a failure. When the engine has a failure, metal patella marks for the engine of the cool oil cooler oil particles cannot be, cannot be completely removed from the element and can be must again cover the damage for the ele- engine. Check the oil filter uh, cooler element for the damage leak. For the check the cool element leak for the seal both the end of the element. Oh, one, so the, one the end must have the fitting of the air connection. Install the air connection and the, uh, as the fitting. Put the element with the container of the water. P- apply 40 psi of the air pressure to the element. Check the air bubbles that come from the element. Check, true, check the cooling and cooler housing for crack damage corrosion Re- replacement. Replace the element with the damage leak. For the, replace the housing for the crack damage corrosion. Warn assembly. Assemble the code of the ASA, ASAE 30 oil with the oil ring with the thermostat. Install the oil ring with the groove in the housing. Install the thermostat in the housing. Push the thermostat in the housing until against the bottom of the board. Figure 733. 733 shows the installing of the thermostat. Apply the coat of the grease to the oil ring with the element four. And make sure that the groove uh, no, that make sure the groove does not have any sharp edge before the installing the O ring. Seven thirty four installing the O ring of the thermostat and the housing. Seven thirty five um, installing the element the in, into the housing. Install the element of the housing for the filter end of the housing. Make sure the drain cock with the element of the filter end of the housing. Figure seven thirty five. Use the hand to push the element into the housing. Figure six. Install the cover to new gasket for the cooler housing. Tighten it does not tighten the cap, cap screws. Install the two three threads. Deep into the housing, they apply with the coat of the grease and second O ring for the element. Install the O ring with the end to the groove of the filter over the housing. Make sure the groove does not have the, any of the sharp edges before the installing the O ring. To push the element in position over the O ring, even tightly over the four cap screws, support tighten all the cap screws 50 to 20 foot pounds to work. Install the retaining plate with retaining screen, screw the lock washer plane, washer tight the cap screws with the 50 to 5 to 6 foot pound torque. Apply the coat lock with the lock type 572 with the thread of the drain cock and throw the drain cock into the element to tighten 5 to 10 foot pounds. All right, figure 736 is the tightening of the cap screw for the cover. Um, um, for the cover. Figure the 737 and saw on the retaining pen. Table 71, lubricating oil specification, inch of the reference figure 70. Reference number, measurement, warn limit, the new minimum, maximum. Um, bushings inside the diameter, idle, idle drive shaft, outside the diameter, driver gear, black clearance, driver in mat. Movement, other shaft, shaft protrusion, and other smith body, driving gear, draft shaft, shaft protrusion. Single double capacity lubricating oil pump pump with the bushing inside the diameter idler drive shaft outside the diameter driving gear with the body with the clearance of the drive shaft and movement of the end shaft the drive shaft protrusion above the body with the cover plate the driving gear with the drive driving gear drive shaft the shaft protrusion pissing cooling oil temp of the protrusion above the body um mounting phase the double lubricating oil pump the bushing inside the diameter idler drive the shaft outside the diameter three driving gear with the to the body four driving shaft end movement. All right, continued um, idle shaft protrusion above the back surface of the body. Idle shaft is off the cliff for the elf drive gap for shaft the protrusion shaft. The scavenger pump of the bushing inside the diameter inside. Idle drive shaft the outside the diameter. Um, idle drive shaft the protrusion drive gear drive shaft uh, drive shaft gear protrusion. Coupling double the protrusion above the coupling phase coupling drive shaft the shaft protrusion drive shaft end of the move the double scavenging pump the bushing inside the. Uh, the diameter inside the driver, the in either driver to coupling shaft, the driver shaft, and protruding the driver engine move, and the shaft end movement the fuel, full flow, fuel cooler, and non fuel flow, flow, full flow cooling, lubricating oil, oil pump pressure regulating spring free length. Figure 7 1, lubricating oil specification of the, um, Figure 720 size turbocharged oil supply um, number 6, the full flow filter number 16, turbocharged oil drain pan number 16, 73 housing bend, bend, hose bends, 74 hose bends, inches, 75 oil pan capacity, US gallons, degrees of angularity, part number, some location, high, low, front, up, down, front, down, FP side down, exhaust side down, oil pan capacity. U.S. gallons, degrees, angularity, part number, something, 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 location, high, low, front, up, front, down, front part, side down, exhaust, uh, side down. All right, group eight. The cooling system includes the water pump of the engine, fan hub, the thermostat, heat exchange, and C, raw water pump.